My name is Michelle Hawafa. I am contesting the Moresby South seat and I am proud to say I have been endorsed by the People's Party. It really was a travesty that we had no female representation in the last five years of our national parliament. As well as the well-known studies about the benefits that women leaders bring to a nation, we've just lost out on the intellectual capacity, the ability to manage and administrate, and all the knowledge that comes with being a woman. Papua New Guinea has lost out on such a valuable resource and we really need to do our best to make sure that we have women in parliament this term. It has been a little challenging being a female candidate. I am the only female candidate in um, the Moresby South um, electorate, so there's me and seven men. Um, I think other women will say the same thing. It's very difficult to get um, good funding and for a reasonable campaign, we do need funding. It's as simple as that. Um, the other challenge that I've faced is um, violence and intimidation by another candidate. So, um, you know, it disadvantages our team. We've lost valuable resources, as well as the trauma associated with such uh, violent attacks. So, um, yeah, it's, it's hard being a woman in this political environment. But I'm really lucky that I'm the only female candidate in Moresby South. So there are advantages to that as well. Integral human development is something that all leaders should strive for. Education, health. If we don't have an educated, healthy society, we can't build a prosperous nation. So these are the fundamental building blocks of our nation. So this is what I bring to the seat of Moresby South. I have a party behind me who has done this already successfully. Uh, we've got a proven track record of sustainable human development and sustainable infrastructure development. And I also have a background in uh, community development and human development. I'm really enjoying the experience so far. Uh, the communities have been so welcoming. I just want to thank all of Moresby South. The places we visited have opened their arms and their hearts and their minds to the message that we have. And you know, my team and I, we move around with peace and we bring that energy with us. And it's all about our policies, our platforms, uh, what we can do to improve the lives of our people over the next five years, uh, the vision that we have for our electorate, um, and yeah, really uh, connecting with the people, understanding what it is that is needed at a community level, and thinking about how we're going to address those uh, critical issues when we're in office. So loving the journey, and I really want to thank all of Moresby South for being so welcoming and warm. So what we say to our, our constituents is that, you know, we are all applying for the same job. This is basically what we're doing during campaigning. We're applying for a job of being Member of Parliament to represent our people in Parliament. And if that's the case, then they're the employer and they get to choose who they want to represent them in Parliament. And if they're the boss, it goes to reason that the member is there to serve them and bring them, make sure that our people get service delivery and development and to make sure that there is equal distribution, that human development is at the forefront of all our plans. So, you know, this is one um, lesson, I guess, we bring to our constituents, that they are the boss, we're the applicants, and they get to choose. And, you know, we say to them, um, scaling good old candidate, community development or corporate development or one of kind walk you got skill him good because um, and again I say this all the time we are all going to promise you the same things we're all going to promise you health care education safety and security um, job creation uh, we're all going to say the same thing different words maybe 
but essentially the same thing. So uh, I encourage our voters to look past the words, scale him good candidate, scale him good team, na scale him good party. So who that straight, he got experience, lo, this la promise. That's how you can tell who, who's most likely to bring you um, the service and, and development that our people so rightly deserve. Um, one of the things that I've pledged to do, it was on uh, Post Korea a couple of Fridays ago, uh, is to protect the public purse because this is where all our development stems from. And if our public purse is not being protected, it means uh, money's our money that's lost and it means jobs, education, health, safety and security. So uh, just I encourage all our voters choose really, really carefully because, you know, we all say this, five minutes in the polling booth translates to the next five years of our lives.